women's 501 singles final of the Seacoast Open featuring Marlise Keel and Callie West. This should be a fantastic match. What are they averaging for the tournament, my man? A 61 and a 66, is that right? 66 for Callie West, who, remember, won two weeks ago at the Witch City Open. 61 for Keel, 66 for West for the tournament, and we are underway. I'm Nick Pratt, next to the one and only Will Stewart. Internationally known on the microphone, <laughs> Will Stewart. <laughs> You son of a gun. <laughs> they know you everywhere. Oh, it is still kind of creepy when people come up to me and just like, hey, Will, how's it going? Yeah, how do you know me? And I realize, oh, yeah, uh, I do this for a living now. <laughs> got it's 13, still creepy. Still 13 creepy. tournaments in 2023. <laughs> you are going to be the guy to go to when you want to watch darts on USA Dart here in Andover, Massachusetts. Let's get into this one. This is going to be a back and forth battle, I assume. We'll see if that comes into fruition. As we've got Callie West, Marlies Keel, best of 11 here, folks. First to six legs, you can see there on our scoreboard. Callie have been playing lights out stuff. Like we mentioned, a 66 average is pretty impressive when you've been playing. Uh, well, she played some mixed events last night. Now she's been playing the WF singles. Yeah. First, first nine for Callie West, a 71. Here in her first nine, she averages a 70 here. So a really nice start right on par of what Callie's been doing all weekend long. While we're in the middle of the first leg, don't forget to like us, comment, make sure your friends are watching us. Don't get creeped out, Will. They're just excited to meet a celebrity. <laughs> Oh, get out of here with that talk. Just a normal everyday person. Come on over, say hi. Come come check out the setup every once in a while. That's always something that people like to do at all our numerous events. 231 needed for Callie West here. Let's see how she goes about this one to try to guarantee a checkout opportunity. Might want to go for a switch. Does oh. not. She is fine, though. Going to have an out now, 100. That classic double clutch move from Callie West. Bang, bang. <laughs> Don't count Keel out. Keel is number one on ADO point ranking system. Callie is number three. And this for a Seacoast Open Championship. West with a 103. 131, I mean. 71 to go. She's going to go triple 17. Going to try and get 54. Thinking 54. Leaves herself tops. 91 scored, 40 to go. A nice setup as Keel cannot take 162 out. There's just no way to do it. Potential 19 dart leg for Callie if she can nail this with the first dart. That would be a, a very nice start for her in this final. Let's see if she can uh, do just that. When we started this tournament, it was three out of five. And now we've doubled it. It's six out of 11 for the finals. Confirming the ugly Danny Lobby beat Jim Fitzsimmons 4-1 in the corner. 83.5 average for him. So potential person we could see in our final down the road who's looking for some more seeding points. Plenty of great matches to go. The men's bracket's still underway. They are marching on to the quarterfinals in the men's bracket. Couldn't quite find the double bull there. It's gonna leave 76, go back up to the triple 20. Oh, tries for the 16 instead. Wanted to leave herself a nice 60 instead. Well, here's a double 10 look for Cali. Well, a 19 darter wasn't able to happen, but this could still be a nice little start for her if she can hit this. Yep. Hits it. Nice we are underway. Partner. Nice mark with that first dart, collects it on the second. Good stuff for her. As we see a little quick change there, my bad. She'll get the start. A nice break of throw to open us off for Callie. Something I always speak about when I see 
or when I commentate on Callie West's matches, you'll notice she never looks at her opponent's darts, rarely ever. She usually looks at the floor, could, could care less about paying attention to her opponent. Yeah, definitely just focus on what she has and what she needs to do. Yep. It's a good mentality to have if you're a, a player uh, that maybe wants to take that next step and how do I become a little bit better on concentration? How do I become a little bit better consistency-wise? Well, don't pay attention to your opponent. Um, yeah, you can kind of check out their score, make sure they're correct, but sometimes that big ton, ton 40 in your face can be detrimental. Definitely a you sport. It's just about you. <laughs> it isn't about your opponent. It isn't about what anything that else but you, what you can do. Right now, Callie West is trying to do it. Two weeks removed from a 501 Witch City Open Championship. She's trying to go back to back here in Boston, go for the Seacoast Open 501 Championship. But not if Keel has anything to say about it. Big triple on the first start, 95, gets her right back in this match. This one's gonna get my heart race, and I can tell already. <laughs> Try to calm yourself down if you can. If not, move to the edge of the seat. That's all you're going to need for this bad boy. And the way this big board's gone, we might be on leg 11 in no time. <laughs> and I'll be standing up. Hopefully I can keep my shirt on for that one. <laughs> oh, my. Keel trying to... Get something going after that 95. It's going to get a 45. These ladies are neck and neck after 12 darts. 233. Sometimes like to go downstairs for the 19s. I think that's what Callie's doing here. If you can get seven of them, you'll leave yourself 100. Got 57, unfortunately. Keel's going to go right back up top. 85 is going to leave her 156 out. She is first to an out against the throw. Yeah, a good way to add some pressure there is Callie's going to look to take this down. A ton would be great. A ton 40 would be even better. She's going for the ton 40. Ton 40 would leave the double 18. Oh, unfortunate ricochet to the outside, 85. Like that one's not working on us, I'll have to adjust that. Leave the 91. If Keel can get one more triple here, she's gonna be at double eight. Oh, and she's just on the outside, but it's a really well-thrown dart. She's at a two dart out at 56. Callie West with the throw, 91. We're gonna go to triple 17 here. Zooming in. Just a bit on the inside there. She could go trip 18. She could go, she goes the trip 18 route. Looks like she's inside on that one. 56 left, she's gonna go 16 here. Gets the eight, she's gonna leave 48 to go. Keel now, 56. Oh, that is gonna be an eight. She's got the 48, 16, eight combo. She's choosing 16 for the 32. 32, just a bit on the inside. Keel, moving closer and closer to the edge of my seat here. Callie West to win leg numbers two with the throw. The 8-16 combo, she's gonna choose the 16. Double 16 for her. Double 16 for Callie West, leg number two. Just a bit on the inside, yelling, come on. Keel now, double eight, gets it, wins it, moving right on against the throw, a break of throw each for each lady. And Keel, one to one's gonna start with the darts after hitting that double eight. Right to the bitter end, that one again could have gone either way. And a nice round house 60 for Keel. Callie looks to Shake that last one off. Once again, you are watching Seacoast Open Women's Final. If you haven't shared, liked, or commented yet, feel free.
appreciate those who've given stars today too. That has been fantastic to see. You see there, Callie looking directly at the ground, like I mentioned earlier. Back to back six season. Callie has no idea. We'll She's see. only looking at her side, her darts. <laughs> Leonard Gates officially takes the stage. Good luck to him. The Grand Mult Slam. Multiple screens going on. We're going to try and give you updates of the Leonard Gates match in just a second. Nine screens to be exact, buddy. I feel like we need more. <laughs> I feel like we need more. A lot to pay attention to here. Can't wait till you bring that big screen TV on the flight with you <laughs> back and forth to all these <laughs> wonderful venues. Kelly West with a 60. So far, Kiel 60, 60, and 66. Wes, 60, 60, and 60. Another 60. It's a lot of sixes on my screen. Let's see if we can throw a 100 here. There's a big triple. Ask and you shall receive a 100 for Cali West. Oh, Kiel says, oh, you want 100? I'll give you a 180. Unbelievable from Kiel. Huge darts for her. Callie even says, uh, gives her a little chuckle or something as she walks by. So I guess, I I guess Callie got a peek at that one. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell her, though, her face goes right back to concentration. Needs 221, so going to have to answer with a 180 yourself. Oh, no. Of course you're going to go ahead and jinx her well. Oh, it's a productive turn though. An 85 gives her an out. Should Keel miss the 75? Coming off the 180, Keel likes to get to 60. You can see that's part of her game. Get me to 60 and I will take out that tops if I can. 55. All right, Callie West. Oh man, can she? For a triple digit out, 136, double eight. Oh, oh. just a bit on the inside. Callie West, would have been, I cannot believe that. That would have been beautiful. That would have been unbelievable. And Keel, she is, cannot find the double 10. And here we go again. These ladies have played so good this leg. Last three turns for Callie, a 185, and almost the 136 checkout. She just has eight to go. Is it bang bang for Callie? Call, Woods. Going down to double two. Oh, and we are just on the inside. Keel for leg number three with the throw. She needs this one. She does not want to give up a break of throw, even though we have a lot of darts to throw as we are first to six, double seven now. Yeah, difficult first dart. Let's see if she can recover here and not put it inside. Oh. And it's exactly what she does. Difficult darts. She decides to leave herself double two. Some some like the double ten, some like the double two. She's elected the double two. Now Callie. She did all the work to almost take out 136. Can she finish the job on double one? Inside here, he gets nails it. it. Double one. Okay. Callie West against the throw, takes the break. Two to one. Yes, nice break of throw there for her. That's a little confidence builder as we see. Sixty-two average for her. Sixty-one average from our lease. And earlier, someone was asking how how they could get better at darts. I will tell you, double one. You should practice double <laughs> one all the time because that one could make or break a leg. Certainly can. I've found myself in that situation numerous times, although um, it's uh, difficult. Got to find your pressure, way out of it. The pressure. <laughs> These ladies are right back on it, 60s a, a piece. We've got some great action around the WDF and now so around the PDC. Any update on the PDC, Will? Yeah, Gates just found himself 2-0 down after having an 82 look in the first leg. He unfortunately uh, missed. 
and Johnny Clayton's going to work. Got quarterfinal matchup right now. Tom Curtin, and Jason Brand. We saw Curtin earlier, and Jason Brandon are playing 0-0. They're just getting started. But other people who have punched their ticket into the semifinals of the men's, Danny Lobby, Joe Chaney, and Alex Spellman. So we will be seeing them in the semifinals of the men's 501 coming up shortly. Um, Callie West with a nice 81 here. Wow, Action so everywhere. Just taking a glance at that myself. Wow. Some good runs. Jim Fitzsimmons had a great run this afternoon, this morning. Dave Walsh. It's it's almost crazy to think we're going to see maybe one semifinal, maybe both. Oh, whoa. Oh, they have just shut the lights on us. It looks like we have... A, a slight lighting issue in here think, right now. I think Callie just asked her, do I get a little rethrow here? Doesn't get the rethrow. She knows she doesn't get the rethrow. 45 is the score there. Very yeah. interesting stuff. The ladies are just going to play right through it. We're, we're blacked out right now. We, we can barely see our uh, I feel like someone put screens. my sunglasses on. <laughs> this is quite the scene here, but we're going to play right through it. These ladies... They don't mind a bit. They want to they want to win the title. They want to win it now. They are not going to wait for electricity or anyone. <laughs> Nick frantically adjusting all of his brightness on his screens cuz he needs to be able to can't, see here. Can't see a thing, but I can see that. That's a triple on the first one for Callie. Oh. She's going to grab an 80. Ah, that's why she hit that single one. I was wondering why she would move down on that. Um just couldn't quite see that that was in the single one there. Blocked off a little bit. Oh, Danny Baggish there supporting Gates as uh, he's uh, giving a little love to the camera. Fortunately, Gates dropped another one. He's down three to nothing. Meanwhile, Callie West is going to be the first to an out here in leg number four. Oh, and that is dangling in there. She's at 155, so she does have a nice option to switch. She chooses the 15. Really likes to even it out, get it right back to the zeros. She's going to get 140. Little yeah. fish look here. Can she put it into that trip 20 and have a oh, look? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. She doesn't I think doesn't it's just think below. It's there. She goes to the trip 18, doesn't quite get it, down to 89. Oh boy. They're playing our finals, our semifinals. They're playing right now. our semifinals on another board. There's a Danny Lobby and... I wonder who's playing. He's got, it's gonna be Chaney, Spellman, or... Chaney or Spellman, one of those two. We'll figure out that matchup. Man, we've got action everywhere. Got to find all the brackets. Meanwhile, at this turn. Oh, and the good news is the lights will be turned back on. They will get to see Callie West in an 89 <laughs> out double bull checkout for Callie West going the 1920 double bull route. Oh, and they're going to turn the lights on now. Callie West, I think, just lit up the room with that 89 checkout. My goodness. What a verbal display we're getting from Mr. Nick Pratt here <laughs> today. <laughs> that will be Danny Lobby, Joe Chaney in the other semifinal match. Wow. So it'll be Alex Spellman taking on who potentially in the other semifinal. Can you find out that information? Yeah, that'll be Alex Spellman versus the winner of Tom Curtin and Jason Brandon. Wow. So Curtin Brandon's going to play Spellman in the semifinals. And meanwhile, on another board, uh, Danny Lobby is going to take on Joe Chaney. And meanwhile, here in Center Arena, Callie West just took out 89 on a double bull checkout. And it looks like we are fortunate enough to see. Yeah, we're going to be able to see Jason Brandon and uh, Tom Curtin as they're actually playing right next to us. It's a 1-0 lead for Jason Brandon right now. So that's a quarterfinal match we've got right on our 9 o'clock view. At our 3 o'clock view is our center arena. And the lights are back on here at the hotel. 
Nothing stopping the darts today. Callie West with a 95. Unbelievable job by Callie on that 89. Tough go for Leonard Gates right now on the other screen. Yeah, hasn't had a look at a checkout yet. So that's a difficult uh, task if. Tough to miss a double when you don't get to shoot one. Especially when you're playing that number seven in the world right now and Johnny Clayton, rut row. Still not out of this yet. It's a big leg differential potentially to come back from, but we'll see, we'll see. Back to our main form of action here. A 138 needed from Callie West to make this a 4-1 match. Against the throw again, Callie came off of that 89 double bowl checkout with a 140, 85, 95, 43 to leave her this 138. She's certainly in the zone right now. I mean, right now it is Callie West world and we're all just living in it. <laughs> <laughs> she has won the Witch City Open two weeks ago. And she is seeming unstoppable right now. I think he's got her name right this time. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Jackie Robinson. Mm -hmm. Chiming in with a not little, a little good one. <laughs> I'm not Robinson. Robin Robinson. Not Jackie Robinson. <laughs> and then I mess it up. Yeah, it's Jaqueline <laughs> Robbins. It's Jaqueline Robbins, ADO treasure in the booth with us. <laughs> Callie's going to try double bull again. Second try for the double bull. Back to back double bull legs for Callie West. Oh, just a bit on the outside. She wanted it. You know I'm never going to live that down, right? <laughs> Here comes Cal. Goes for the 12, has 60 to go. Oh, might have been a five there. <laughs> 25 to go for Callie West here. Callie West thinking the nine. Going the nine. nine double eight. Double eight. Oh, just a bit on the inside. But here comes 46. 610 combo maybe for... for Yes, a six here. She loves the 40s. Going to double 20. Walk it in. Oh, it's just a bit on the inside. Unlucky. Callie West for a four to one lead here in leg number five. She is halfway to the championship at three to one. She wants to be two thirds of the way there at four to one. Can she hit double four? There it is, double four. Callie West, incredible. Four to one against the throw. She's gonna shoot first again. So Callie West up four to one. Incredible stuff so far. She won the singles 501 at the Witch City Open. She won the women's singles cricket in the Witch City Open. And now she is going for the women's 501 Seacoast two weeks later. Callie West, we are seeing history here, folks. 85 for Keel. Sorry about that, Nick. <laughs> Got in a giggle fest there for a second. No. How about you being professional in that, ja in that Jackie, little time? <laughs> Jackie likes to rib me pretty good on the names. And <laughs> I, really, I really screwed up Keel's name a lot at the board calls a couple weeks ago. And I apologize to her. I was just not very good at, at reading, reading names, I guess. <laughs> hey, well, you and me both, brother. I told her we can just be have a, a butcher fest this weekend, <laughs> as they say. But you got the locals. I've got the big names. Yeah. We'll be all right. You got the pronunciation. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it just goes to show you, you don't have to read to get on USA Darts Live. <laughs> Well, it's an unfortunate 5-0 loss for Leonard Gates. He'll have to come back tomorrow and perform uh, 
very well if he wants to make it through to the next round. We'll see. We will see. Do you think if a USA Dart production company was broadcasting the Grand Slam of darts, he might have gotten a couple more legs? <laughs> I don't know, they do a great job with the PDC. They sure do. Maybe someday we'll get the call, who knows, who knows. We're ready In the for meantime, the call. we're having fun doing this. I hear Netflix is looking for live sports. Netflix, if you can hear us, we're ready to get picked up. Darts. Boom. Live sports right now on Facebook and YouTube. Like and share, everyone. You're watching the women's finals and Keel is not gonna go down quietly. She's went 85, 85, 100, and 140 to leave herself 91 against the throw. Well, just to say, we, these will be replayed on our FTF Sports platform, our FTF network for the fans. So if you're looking for a little TV broadcast of this, check that out. If you're watching on that platform, come on over to USA Darts on Facebook and YouTube and join us for our live action. Subscribe, definitely subscribe. You're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna watch this every weekend. Will's on just about every weekend in January and February, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Callie gives a little look of, she knows she's got to hit a whopping one here to force some pressure on Marley's keel. She might have peaked on and 20. saw, ooh, I think she's on 20 and I'm on 240. This is not going well. But Callie will hope to rebound. And we just need a double 10 here for keel to march us along, but not going to get it. Callie's going to get some more darts. Some people might call these practice starts, but if Callie grabs a 140 here, might put just enough pressure to give her another chance. Big triple there. 76 currently scored. Goes for 95. Gonna leave herself 136 if she gets the chance to return. But Marley's keel for that double 10 look one more time. That's an unfortunate one if she's not gonna get a marker dart. Oh, oh, just a bit on the inside. And Callie was razor thin away from hitting 136 earlier. Let's see if she can replicate those first two darts from last time. Triple 20 here for Callie. Oh, you hate to see the neighbor. Who invited the neighbors over? <laughs> those pesky neighbors. Oh, oh. those were the two she <laughs> wanted earlier. She be, says, why not? I'll why just not? pile that in there. I'll take 13 left. It's okay. Now I know where they are. Keel, going to have to even this out. She's going to bust. Callie West, this would be absolutely clutch for Callie West. If she can come back, she... She looked dead in the water a second ago. She goes 95, 123, and now double four away. Takes a deep breath real quick. Double clutch, is it bang, bang? Oh, just a bit on the inside. Kill. Finally. She says, finally. See a little crowd watching wow, her final are here. A lot of people, the crowds are gathering around. You see a lot of the ladies supporting for our final. That's I typical. I to see them see. shooting in the background too. I think we got a lot of matches going on as well. And Definitely so. I mean, our women's doubles is in effect right now, as well as our mixed triples about to start here. A really, a really large field. We'll see if we can get the the exact numbers. In just a second, but there were a lot of matches. I think at least a hundred women in the Seacoast Open today. And it's whittled been down to Cali West, Marlies Keel. And Keel hits that double five and our viewership just went through the roof. Everyone's liking and sharing and, and, and suddenly we're seeing a really good final here. Keel goes back to back 60s. West with an 85. Just 60 there for West. 60 has been right along average for these ladies all week long. 66 for Cali, 61 for Keel over the event this weekend. Keel notching a 100 there. On the other semifinal, it's Danny Lobby, three, Joe Chaney, zero. I 
believe that one's going to five. In the other quarterfinal, it looks like it will be Brandon it will be going on to the semifinals against Spellman. So we have our other semifinal that will get underway in a second. West building off of that 100 with another 60. Keel. 240 to go now with two darts. She needs at least one triple to get to an out. Not quite going to get there yet. Yet. Neck and neck, but against the throw, Callie has turned the tide again. Yeah, uh, well, I was about to say a triple or so away from gonna possibly gonna have to switch a to good look next time. Going to have to switch to 19s here to leave the l at the very least a 167. And unfortunately, oh. it's going to have to settle for 179 instead. Unfortunately, it does look like our other semifinals is getting called on the board right next to us. So we're going to keep you updated on that one, but we will see the men's final after this one before we shut down our stream and refresh for the evening session. That's great. We'll get 501 women's finals right into the 501 men's finals. We've had some great oh. action here. That just speaks volumes of the timing that they, that's, th this tournament's been like this for a while, and there's reasons for it. It's because they know the kind of players that they're going to have. They know what to expect. They kind of know when we're going to end on each side of the bracket. So that's why we've seen the ladies start at 11. Then we had men's doubles start just before them, and now we're seeing the men catch up to the ladies and have our final right afterwards. Good stuff. It's been a great schedule. Keel with a monster 138 to leave a 26 out. 84 needed for West here. She can put this away. Trip 20, double 12. She's going to go down to the 14 now, I would say, on 64. Triple 14. If she hits that, she just hits the fat 14. Double bull now. Kelly West, she's done it once. Can't quite do it again, but she hit a double ball earlier in this set. Now, does Marlies go right for this? That's my question. Yes, she does. She went she's right for it, and she's just on the inside. She's going to have to clean up this 13, going for the 5. Double 4 now. Just a bit on the outside now. I think we're just doing a score adjustment. I believe Callie West has 34 left. She hit a 16 on her bullseye shot. They are making a quick correction. So she has double 17. She could split this with the two. She could go right at it. This would be a break of throw again for Callie. She goes right at it and nails it. Deep sigh of relief. And it is five to two now. Callie West with a double 17. And she has put this on the brink of victory. She has one leg to go to become a Seacoast Open champion. It does look like, unfortunately, they're going to push the bracket along on the women's side, so we will not be able to interview either Callie or Marlies, uh, whoever wins this title. But we'll try to pull them in at a later time into the booth and probably get a little quick interview from them. But it looks like we're behind in our doubles event. Just got that message from our tournament director, so I wanted to relay that to you as well. Totally understand as we want to make sure that we're not sitting here till 3 o'clock in the morning this evening. Nobody wants that. Well, they've done a good job pushing these events, and I know everyone would love to get the reaction of whoever our winner may be. But we promise we're going to show you something one better, and that's more darts. Who doesn't love that? Callie bending over in the background there. I think she's just trying to stay locked in. She... Like Will says, does not like to watch her opponent shoot. She just wants to lock into her job. Right now her job is 365 on leg number eight. Just a bit on the outside on that first start, 28.
60 there for Keel. The crowd has not gone away, Nick. They are all for this final. Some probably going to squat for the men's final as well, I believe. The crowd is assembling for sure. There's a lot of people who have a lot of interest in this. And they are going to be amped up for whomever is in our men's final coming up next. Callie West now, 278. These ladies are neck and neck in this eighth leg for the championship. 45 there for Callie West. Now is Callie feeling the pressure right now and trying to get this clincher? She's been throwing a lot of darts. It's been a longer set than normal. I think she is feeling a touch of pressure because I think she knows what she has to do in order to qualify for what she wants to qualify for. So, yeah, I think she feels that pressure from the aspect of she's been at the top of the rankings for quite some time now. She wants to maintain that. She doesn't want to slip. She doesn't want to fall. She wants to let it be known that she's the top tier lady in the U.S. Let's see if she can do that. And she can feel herself so close to the end here. She's, she's done a really great job to be up 5-2. to two. She's had some nice checkouts, including the 89 double bull checkout. Almost a 136. Keel with a 100. Will not go away. Is not going to go away. And now here comes Callie West right behind her. Can she fill up the bed one more time? Callie oh. West with a 140. Great Unbelievable. darts there. She's going to add a ton of pressure to this 144. Keel going the 818s route and unfortunately can't quite get it going on the 18. So Cali West for the Seacoast Open Championship. Going to go triple 16 just a bit on the outside. The 816 combo. Here we go. 32 for Cali West. Just a bit on the outside. Ricochets up into the eight bed. She'll have 24 on her way back. Keel wants this 118. 98 to go. Goes to the 18. She's going to hit the triple on the last one. So she'll have double 10 with a 20 to go. Callie West for the championship. Three darts, two darts to go. She gets it. She wins it. She's Look, got it. Cool. She's your champ. Seacoast Open. First, which city open and now Seacoast Open. She is going to get those world ranking points for first place. Look at the smile on her face. Let's take a rewind of that one, a replay. Oh, that's the championship can... dart. Look at that. Look she at is that. so happy. She, a, a sigh of relief almost. That's exactly what that was. And you see her go right to Marlies, give her a big old hug. Congrats to our winner in this WDF 501 Silver event.